Yeah, okay, what we see here is a relatively large chimney field with lots of spires sticking out into the water column. Um, some of them vent low temperature fluids, which are um, you know quite important for for the biota. Uh, from the, in terms of biology, you can see all those big bush-like things. Those are the uh, stalk barnacles. They get really, really long. These stalks and they occur in these really large aggregations, which is really cool. Here is, is another sort of zone where, where hot fluids come out of the seafloor. These fluids get heated up by the magmas, which underlie these volcanoes, um, which heat up these fluids, which then get spewed out, expelled into the water above and form these chimneys. This black smoke coming out of these chimneys, black smoke means these fluids are very, very hot. And this is, this is uh, small metal particles. When these fluids, when they come into contact with the cold seawater, the ambient seawater temperature is about one and a half to two degrees, um, they precipitate out and form this clouds of black smoke. See these animals that live on there? The barnacles are farther away, closer in. You see some different ones. You can see those large red scale worms uh, that are there probably feeding on this bacterial mat. A green mineral, which is a copper, build up with time you know as these fluids continue to circulate through the rock and then get spewed out onto the sea floor. See this uh, really furry hairy crab uh, which is really cool. The hairs uh, on its legs sometimes it can grow bacteria on them and feed off of them. You can see some of the other animals around some more regular barnacles that are non-stocked kind that live just attached to the rock. We, we sample one of these chimneys to find out what the geochemical composition is and also we can um, have a look at how long have these systems been active and what was the, the evolution of these systems. Um, so it gives us really valuable information you know, about the long longevity and the composition of these hydrothermal wind fields. We deploy a temperature probe in order to see you know, how hot these fluids are. That's also quite important to know. Here we can see some squat lobsters in amongst with all the... Uh uh, stock barnacles, some Zoarcid vent endemic fish uh, swimming among them, but these huge fields right on the periphery. And then when you get closer, you can start seeing these different kinds of organisms. A really nice paralvanellid worm uh, that looks like a little a palm tree with the orange tentacles sticking out. They live really, really close to the hot fluid. Based on chemosynthesis, con converting the, the energy within the chemicals uh, in the vent fluid into, into food for other organisms. We also see here that the fluids coming out of this chimney, where the biota lives on, are much cooler. So they, they have a clear appearance, but you see the shimmer in the water. Here we're uh, sampling some of these snails, and there's this clear zonation that you can see with these hydrothermal vents. Some that like to be really close, some that like to be farther away, and even the animals, even the, the white uh, hairy gastropods and the, the, darker, the darker gastropods, these are two different kinds of snails. They live in very distinct zones. This is a really cool zoom of them. You can see the, some brachyurin crabs and some of that opipele shrimp. You can see other things living on them, a bunch of limpets. And these snails are really quite large. They go anywhere from a golf ball size to almost tennis ball size snail shells. So they're really large organisms.